Hello and welcome to MIDI's Tech Circle. In today's video I want to show you some hidden Oreo features which are really really hidden in these settings. You will never maybe find. So um, I hope you find this video useful and if yes please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button down below. If you are wondering why my, on my videos you see now at the beginning some advertisement that's because my channel is now monetized so um, when you watch my videos you support me and I will be able to um, with time to upgrade my um, my yeah let's say equipment for doing videos and I can also buy new tech gadgets and do giveaways and much more so yeah that's appreciated from my side so the first thing I want to show you has to do something with the home screen and is a gesture based feature so normally you will be able to swipe up to get to the home or to the app drawer I mean and you will be able to get to the app drawer by swiping from the top to the bottom so like this so if you aren't using this um, gesture so swiping up from the top to the bottom to go into the app drawer and you are mostly using the swipe up gesture to get to get into the app drawer I have a really cool feature for you so go into the home screen settings and select this option quick open notification panel so what will this do so everywhere on the screen everywhere on your home screen you will be able to swipe down to see or to pull down the notification shade with the quick toggle so um, this is really cool and useful for all users with a bigger phone so for example I have the Galaxy S7 Edge and it has a smaller or it the, the screen is just bigger than the normal S7 and when you um, use your phone in one hand operation you will maybe find it hard to get with your thumb to the top and to pull down the notification shade but by doing this wherever you can you will see that it's a lot easier to reach out to notifications dismiss them and to use the quick settings here and the notification shade so this is my first feature so the next one has to do something with the Wi-Fi so um, maybe you find it annoying to turn off Wi-Fi when you leave home and to turn it on again um, to yeah to be connected with your Wi-Fi of course and maybe it can happen that because you were out you was you, you were using the mobile data and then you forget to turn on Wi-Fi while you are at home and you have the possibility to save some data from your carrier plan and um, yeah that's really annoying but with this feature your phone will automatically connect with your Wi-Fi so you go to this free dot menu to advanced and you have an option which is called turn on Wi-Fi automatically so it explains the feature with a text where it says turn on Wi-Fi in places where you use Wi-Fi frequently so for this feature you need to have the location services with the high accuracy mode enabled so by default the high accuracy mode is enabled um, when you are maybe because of some reason in the battery saving mode I would suggest to you to change it to high accuracy because um, that uh, yeah that's a GPS thing so a location thing when it knows that on this place you use Wi-Fi a lot it will turn on Wi-Fi automatically so what I would really f think would be cool is when you leave this place where you use Wi-Fi that Wi-Fi turns off automatically to, to save just some battery but um, yeah I'm a person who always turn off Wi-Fi when I leave home but maybe there are some of you guys which are forgetting to turn off Wi-Fi when they leave home so that was my second feature I wanted to show you in Oreo the next feature I want to show you now is or has to do something with Bluetooth so maybe you have already experienced a new thing in Oreo so when you are using for example wireless speakers or wireless headphones when you change the volume on your external Bluetooth device 
the volume or the media volume on your Galaxy phone will change too. So the volume is synchronized or also on the other way it will also work. So maybe you have a, um, an external Bluetooth speaker and when you change the media volume on your Galaxy phone it will also change the volume of your external device and maybe it's annoying for you so you will stop this. You can do this by going to the Bluetooth settings so you will have to be connected with your device and turn on Bluetooth and then you will get an option which is called media volume sync. So here it explains also what this setting does and you can see a small video on animation where it shows that it synchronized the volume and when you are connected to your device it will be on normally and you can turn this off of course. So if you don't want to have this you can turn this off when you are connected to your device. And also you will have an option or a setting which is called phone ringtone sync. So when you get a call you will hear your ringtone on your external Bluetooth device. So you can turn this off or leave it on. So it's your preference, your choice. You have the ability to change this option. So yeah, let's go on. The next thing has to do something with multitasking. So maybe you have seen all the videos of on my channel about Oreo and you know that you can change the appearance or the appearance of these cards here, multitasking cards of these apps by going to the free dot menu and change it to list view. Here we will get a much cleaner view where um, yeah, it's just a list with an app icon and the name of the application which is running or which is in the RAM management opened. So yeah, by opening this app you will get back and by swiping right or left you can close this application. So you will still get the option to lock an app in your memory or you can go to the thumbnail view which is the classic appearance of this multitasking setting. And my last feature is just something for Galaxy S7 Edge users or also for Galaxy S8 and S9 users. So if you are using the Edge screen and you have the Apps Edge here um, installed or not installed but um, yeah set to your edge screen you have the ability to open up an application which is here on your apps edge into pop-up view so you can do this by simply holding this application you will see you get the normal remove um, recycle bin where you can um, yeah remove an app from your apps edge or you can just quickly drop it here for pop-up view so let's do this and you will see that it will open up the Twitter app into pop-up view. So this is really useful for example if you are doing a main task and um, you want just to see some information and you don't need to have this app running in full screen you can just quickly drop it in pop-up view and that's it. So yeah that's it. Here I showed you some hidden features and more expert features of Oreo. So if you found this video useful and I showed you some interesting new changes which are maybe useful for you, then please share this video with your friends which also have a Samsung device with Oreo running on it. And please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up. I will hope to be able to do a new video with some hidden features. So give me time, I have to look out for them. and. I will let you know when I knew or I know more hidden features in Oreo. So that's it for today's video. I hope to see you soon back here on my